But look at Elyse. This has become the newer style. You give up window, but you just wait at the vent because they have to cross at some point, and Elyse works that perfectly. Now it's just connector they have to worry about as Fugly gets closer. And it's Nitro that's super close in this. Pop Flash 1 gets by. Is he going to find him in time? He does. Turns back. Nearly gets the second one on the A slope as well. There it is. Just kind of remains. Does manage to find one. But it's going to be a 4 on 1 situation once again. He doesn't really have anything to work with. Just going to be trying to get one more frag out of this. Smoked out. Bombed down. Everyone chasing down. Gets a dread. But the knife comes in. Simple, of course. Stabs him straight in the chest and takes him down. Just insult to injury. This guy is having an absolute dream of a match. And a second. He's actually not. He's still considering the B possibility in this. So Heat going to Dren have a chance to open up. Tarek's just going to get toward the truck now. Fugly holding in his favorite position. It's only the FAMAS to work with, but right angles, right timing. It could work out. Elise finds the entry. Hiko follows up. Fugly goes down. Bomb going to immediately come in. Nine seconds. They have to hold it. But Hiko's going to cover off the rotation through the smoke. It's Tarek down. Two on two now. CT's going to be coming in aggressively, but Hiko with another. Looking for the third as well. It's going to be a lead to finish things off. And another man in advantage thrown away from CLG. They had everything in their favor. Read the situation as well. But it's Hiko stepping up with amazing kills through the smoke in the Tech 9. It takes, you know, huge plays from Freiburg, right? Individual talent to come to the fore to stop that kind of execute coming into a site and just rolling over you. I'm really wondering about Get Right's position right now. All the way in the back there, is the auto sniper really going to be useful from this position? Sure, if they boost up like he's expecting, but if they get into the bomb sign and they are walking in right now, he's looking for the shot here. You can see a couple of faces. Well, there's the one kill. That's a good start here, but they're challenging him. They're fighting him. They're not scared. Get Right. Oh, he gets all three kills. Looking for one to go. SDH Get Right shutting it down, and it's 14 to 7. There you go. He's, he's Make sure they're efficient in their execution. They're staying together and trading frags. That's all they need to do, trade frags. And they'll be absolutely fine going forward. Plenty of time to play with. The CTs are starting to react. You can see Simple getting aggressive in the B apartments. We've seen it every single round from him. He's going to be spotted, but JDM staying alive for now. Oh, Simple. God. He definitely spotted his foot coming back in. What Simple goes for the face because he has to, but he's trapped. He's inside the smoke. He's stuck. He can't find his way out the door. How did he survive that? Three hop shots and all the Glock bullets in the world, but he does manage to get out. Fugly in the connector now. Like saying, right, guys, take a pause. We need to consider what we're doing this round. We need to make sure we win it. We need to be taking something to all. And here comes a jump face again. It's going to be simple. Can he find anything from it? He can't, but I it's always it. fun to watch. I love that they're doing it. This just shows the confidence they have. JW's okay. one of the only ones who does it. He finds JDM through the smoke. He might get away with this. Ali, he's just going to go down. And he refaces Tarek. Oh my this God. is some of the best CS from Adren, but not only... Nestor is playing the anti-eco strategy. Got to be as far away from these players as they can to abuse their rifles. And Device is going to be trying to make some paper in the... the well, the underpart area, but that's actually not going to work out. Somehow JW gets a kill there. Just a Glock. Pretty insane. And uh, Dupree going to spot a couple of players here towards the toilets. Trying to go for the challenge here, but Dupree is on point. Wow, sending JW straight down the stairs from where he came. Uh, it's just Flusher left. Money in the bag. But can they get the round as well? Still one player hiding. It's Crims. It's, oh, wow. How on earth did he not pick that one up? It's going to be tough now for Device. In fact, Flush is just going to go straight in. Oh, out, no. The tea bag. The tea bags. We've got a Typhoon tea. That's definitely not green tea, Dan. It looks a bit more brown. So from up top as well, has to combine with the sniper, who's without a sniper rifle at the moment. There goes the flash in, and Olaf Meister is going to try to get himself some frags done now. SJW is maybe afforded a bit of space to move in close to these T's, but they're all over the place. Olaf Meister will pick up one. Can he get the second? It's Dupree with the frag. SJW now scrambles to try to get something done here, jumping across with that rifle spraying frantically. He'll pick one up, but it's just Dupree left. The bomb is ticking away quite rapidly now. And Dupree... He's got the Deagle in hand. Oh, the hold comes in. Pros don't fake. JW, what a man. He never had any doubt, James. This is really bad right now. JW's been delivering great results so far, but he's got to do something very special to save this round here for Fnatic. They are under so much right now. Here he is still. Lurking around, we'll have to see if his teammates can give him a good spot here. Oh, JW's gonna stop the plot from going down. There's still a play, he's just spotted the voice. Oh, what? what is this? JW, amazing shot, spinning around to find it, but Crimson's against three. What on earth will he do with the bomb down here? Going for a bit of a play, and that's quite smart to try to be proactive in this situation. Because how else do they level out the disadvantages? And look at that, the door bursts open, and out comes four frags for Astralis. Make that five. Holy potatoes. In the space of three seconds, Astralis wipe out Fnatic.
Now he's on to something. Still, the execution is slowed because there's another smoke on A-Main as well. He's up against the wall, though. This is where the smokes and Molotovs in turn could actually limit Simple, but they throw them deep on Quad. He's got the angle. He's got the shot. Hayes goes down. It's Tarek. Then he has to face off against Nex. He gets the shot. It's JDM down midair. And Tarek out the doorway. He goes for the wall bang. He's actually got one Tarek. It's an overcommitment from Simple. And it's Tarek against two. But the HP does favor Hiko. This is default for Hiko. It's Nitro with a Dren watching B. Hasn't been a lot of, oh, are we gonna see it? JW style, they go for the run boost. He's actually spotted, he's got it, he's got JDM, who never saw him go by because he was scoped in. So although it wasn't as pretty as we might have liked, it still was effective. And I Nades towards highway. JDM does get a whisper of damage, but Hayes jumping across. There it is, another opening frack from Simple. They're going to be Molotoving out Cutler as well, so he's going to be stuck in a oh, very double. difficult situation. What's his play from this? The double did it because the first one didn't reach that one. Oh. Will Simple, what a flick shot! Takes Cutler down, and now it's a two-man make it. Sorry, three as Hiko found one. Advantage against CLG. Wow, what a half this is turning to be. All in play. To run here, um, this is, this is going to be a bit scary. He's not going to check any corners. That might actually cut down the time some. And we'll see if he can make it. Grenade in once, and Forrest in construction, ready and waiting. He's got the one kill, he needs another one. He's sneaking up behind. Guardian, no clue, and Forrest comes in with a spray, and that's gonna be NIP winning their first round here. A good clutch and a classic little wink.